There's women out here taking care of men, and I'm so scared. That's so scary. That is so, you're taking care of your man. You are carrying your man for the sake of being in a relationship. Love doesn't have to be that way. That's just the choice that you made. So hey y'all, welcome back. So I wanted to do another girl talk, get ready with me. And this topic is going to be around, I don't know, like what, what black women deserve, what they are entitled to, not being in a position of diminishing your worth and really kind of standing your ground as to what it is that you believe. And I definitely want to acknowledge that there's going to be a huge difference in perspective based on like how you were brought up, your environment and the things that you deem acceptable, your relationship models, what your parents relationship look like if you did even have two parents in your household. Those are all things that are going to shape your perspective. And I'm going to keep it real with you. And I'm, I'm going to list all the products that I'm using on my face in the description box so we could just keep this moving and kiki it really is amazing to me how so many women have approached me and like messaged me about being in a position of you know preparing yourself to receive gifts or to be treated well by a person a person who wants to take care of you who wants the best for you who is willing to invest in you i think some of us believe that we need that preparation and it is true there's a certain amount of conditioning that has to go into you being confident enough and you know respecting that there may be a person who wants to take full care of you who wants to give you what you want a lot of people either may not have that expectation do not require that of the person that they are dating but understand that that is a reality for women in this world it wasn't until I started dating people who looked very different than me that I started to understand like the quality of care, how people love you. It can be very different because it's based on a number of things. And I do date outside of my race. I'm not someone who is very closed about that. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video because who you guys and your perception of sometimes people's perception of other people who don't look like them they make a lot of generalizations which can be really really detrimental and i do not believe that that is healthy so i do not participate in that type of conversation um especially when my experiences are very different but think about how we as black women and often women in general are kind of taught to put themselves last they put everyone's needs before their own you know you're overextending yourself to accommodate the needs of others and that can be incredibly exhausting like why are your needs secondary to someone else why can't you keep yourself as a top priority and so it's about like relearning and kind of like reconditioning your mind to understand like you can come first it's not selfish and i think sometimes people believe that in putting themselves as a top priority that in some way it's them kind of like being selfish and you know i guess to put the needs before others makes you selfless but what about self-care like look at the discussions around self-care sometimes saying no sometimes putting yourself first putting your needs before the needs of others and setting those boundaries that's a form of self-care and self-preservation and making sure that you are mentally and emotionally emotionally healthy and your environment can really shape how you perceive the world and so you get around people who have a different standard of living and you start listening to their experiences you know people planning family trips you know some women dealing with you know partners who take extra good care of them and you're like oh i kind of want that for myself and so it's just about opening yourself up and i definitely believe like the more well-traveled you are the more well-versed you are the more opportunities and resources that you have available to you it can definitely open your eyes black women do not have the same access the same privilege the same experiences and opportunities as um 
white women and i just want to be clear about that i'm not shading anybody but i'm not going to tap dance for you and and make you feel nice that that is the truth and i mean there are articles there are studies on that but basically in dating people who don't look like me the the relationship dynamic was very different it was sort of like The quality of care was different. The expectations were different. Were some of them still broke, sis? Yes. Like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. But I realized I don't wanna, I don't wanna date down. I don't wanna date someone that I have to like help build up. Like, why do I have to put in all of this work? Like, and why is it that black women sometimes believe like that struggle love is it? That's that's not it for me, sis, and I, I don't want I, I don't want you to ever think that 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 I promote that because I I reject that, and I already have seen a relationship dynamic that, you know, when you're dating down, when you're a female making more than your spouse, um, the like the extreme impact that that has on the relationship dynamic and sometimes yes the man may be comfortable with it in the beginning but i honestly genuinely feel like sometimes there comes a point where it's it's uncomfortable and what about when you're making more money and let's say your partner gets laid off okay are, are we in the position and you guys are like living together having to take care of someone who let's say they're and they're laid off for like two years that's exhausting would you rather date someone who is doing well for themselves and you guys are making well within the same range and if they get laid off they have money saved up to take care of themselves i think wanting to be well taken care of doesn't make you a bad person um, i'm not a 50 50 queen um if you, relationships require 100 percent effort from both parties it's not a, it's not a, a thing where we're giving 50 percent. there are some p people who believe in taking care of their partners 100 percent. they want to take care of you they want you to do well and i want you to be okay with with that idea don't reject it you know you can be independent you can be able to take care of yourself but still want someone to take care of you I've, and i definitely have learned that men love to feel needed um they love to have something to do because if they can feel a need if they can feel a void low-key they have purpose and you know men love feeling as if they are of value to you and they can contribute to your happiness and their work amounts to you know you being happy it's really shocking to me that women have to still kind of prepare themselves and they feel very uncertain about having someone who's willing to pay their bills i'm telling you sis you may not believe it but there are men who will pay full bills and like do you know what it's like to be in a position where you're dating someone and you genuinely need help and they can't help you? What, then what's the point of that relationship, beloved? What are we doing? Are you just playing? Are you having fun? Because you can't, you can't really, I don't believe that that's conducive to you know, a healthy relationship dynamic because let, let's say a crisis happens. Are, are, you, are you just, you just gotta take care of it on your own? Ugh. Because then, I, then you might as well be alone. You might as well be alone, sis. And that's that's the bigger issue. Like when you really need something, because there was a time in my life where I really needed help, and dating someone who can really help you is key. Like because it it, it makes because I come from a household where my mother carried a lot of the weight towards the end of the marriage and like looking at that oh my god it is so to see a woman have to carry an entire family if you want to know what stress fatigue exhaustion looks like because i looked at it and i didn't want it because that's a level of unhappiness that i don't believe many understand how it can really impact your overall emotional health and your well-being and also how it can affect how you date because you you don't know how to relax 
you don't know how to not be in a position you know where you're always taking care of everything that kind of becomes second nature to you and that that is what i see a lot single-headed households especially with women who are armed with so many different tasks so many different roles and they have to they have to be so much stronger what what, what happens when you just want to relax and be taken care of and oh financial fiscal responsibility financial responsibility and just being financially sound is so important and i think we underestimate it i asked you guys on instagram i was like if you weren't able to pay your rent because the person that you laying up in bed with actually help you pay your rent or y'all just playing around together like if you needed them because then you know you running up your mileage for somebody who can't do anything for you and i'm not saying run up your mileage with a person just because they can do something for you that's not what i'm saying because you don't have to put anything out to get stuff in return you know what i'm saying and i think when pe when women sometimes hear me speak about this they think that i have to be doing something in order to get the things that i like to get money to get bills paid no you don't have to put anything out it's your standard what is your standard when you are kind of you know engaging and interacting with people what are your requirements is it just that they have to talk to you and listen to you and text you every day and communicate with you texting like texting seeing each other communicating y yes that that is key but understanding your requirements and being able to rise to that level to meet you where you are because how many of us just settle like off the strength of you know what i, I gotta you know what i've been single for x amount of years you know i'm a little tired now as long as he works that's good enough for me and that's not my story that's not for me as long as he works he could you know he could be making hmm, i mean you know what if he's making like 12 dollars an hour that really is not gonna work for me i'm just gonna no was i still entertaining people who couldn't meet me where i was yeah and you know what very unhappy very unhappy and then also do you want someone do you want to date someone with assets with wealth the wealth the wealth gap the gender wage gap those are all factors that play into part and they're an integral part and it's also that gap or disparity is exaggerated amongst minorities especially african americans africans black people persons of color honey wealth is where it's at assets is where it's at because you know what like what are you leaving to your kids like and that's another thing like i don't want to have a family and i can't set up a strong future for my child like that would really hurt me because i already know what that looks like so why would I, why would i repeat the cycle some of these things are generational like and, it's, and if you really look at like our ancestral history and how black women have always had to sacrifice their needs in order to accommodate others think about how slaves versus field slaves think about how you know uh slaves were asked to cook to feed a family to breastfeed children that were not even theirs like sis if you really want to get into it that's why it should be all about your needs and what you see for yourself you don't and it's not being selfish this stuff is so deeply rooted within us unlearning this behavior and this conditioning it's all as a result of social constructs as created by people who oppressed us a highly marginalized group but i also want to say on the topic of the whole black love thing so get this by the age of 16 black women begin to outnumber black men due to factors related to like discrimination incarceration but these are also because of racism social injustice issues with the legal system the prison system 
all things to consider so now you have a smaller pool to choose from but when you look at who's dating outside of their race black men are more prone to dating outside of their race than black women though black women express more concerns about getting married because they are not finding a mate but black men are more prone to be married but they're the ones that are willing to marry women outside of their race okay i vouch for healthy love something that is conducive to my growth me evolving as a woman as a partner and as something that can you know yield to me creating a very healthy family unit i think that's so important i really want to be a strong partner a strong mother for my children you know when i do decide to have them because honey i do not want to repeat some of the things that i saw my parents do i love them dearly but honey when you grow up and you realize you're a little messed up you're a little i mean we're all a little bit messed up so we can't we can't deny that fact but your energy in 2019 is about opening yourself up, not being afraid, being willing to try new things, reading a little bit more. Maybe your perspective is a little jaded, you're a little bit ignorant, it's okay. In certain respects to certain things, I am a little bit ignorant, but you know what? I acknowledge it and I definitely work to educate myself because speaking on something where you have limited knowledge, you look, and sound a little crazy um so help yourself help those around you and get around people who want more like if you're the only one in your squad doing well change it it's bad it's bad it's bad there's women out here taking care of men and i'm so scared that's so scary that is so you're taking care of your man you are carrying your man for the sake of being in a relationship. Love doesn't have to be that way. That's just the choice that you made. Sometimes it's not really love. It's just that's the choice that you made and you're dealing with the choice that you made. You can always change your mind. It's never too late. Do you want to be in a relationship like where you're forced to settle let's just talk about this cardi situation real quick because i don't like to get into it because i do not know her life and that would be me projecting and reaching which is unfair um why are women expected to deal with infidelity to deal with cheating to deal with someone who is not in a position to give their best why should a woman be expected to work things out with a person who has shown time and time again that this commitment isn't valuable enough for me to give my best and to commit to you i want to see what's out there you know i want to keep having sex with you know women even though i'm married but you know what i'm also going to get on you know video and i'm going to embarrass you publicly as a form of manipulation because i know you're vulnerable and you're in a state where yes i know that you want your family so i'm going to pull at your heartstrings talking about this idea of family even though i had absolutely no respect for my family when i stepped out and you know had relations with other women and i'm going to interrupt the flow of your work while you're performing at a concert to let you know that you should take me back the audacity and then the number of black men who are caping for offset to you know convince cardi that she should get back with him if you ever want to know what an example of not dealing with someone because of their manipulation and their controlling emotionally abusive tendencies look at offset very very good example